Related rates of change. Change. Differentiation, isn't it? Students hate questions like this, but it's trying to address a nice exam question or exam type question. It says, the diagram shows a right circular cone filled with water. The volume of water in the cone is V centimeter cubed and the depth is H centimeters. Show that V has to be one ninth pi H cubed. Okay, now what does it mean by a right circular cone? It means that this cone can be made up of right angled triangles. Okay, so we somehow need to figure out how to represent the volume in terms of H, okay? All right, uh, well, first thing we could do is we could write down what the volume of a cone is. It's one third pi r squared H. Okay, now they don't always have to give that to you in the exam, but it's obvious when it comes to a cone or pyramid, it's always a third base area times the height. Now, because it's a cone, the base area is a circle, pi r squared, and then the height is H. So if we look at this, we can see that it clearly doesn't have r. So we somehow have to figure out what the radius is. Now the radius is this. Remember I told you guys that this is a right angled triangle. All right. So it splits up into two congruent right angled triangles, meaning they're the exact same. So this angle here must be 30. So we redraw that over here. So we have the radius. We have the height of the triangle and we have 30 degrees. Now we just need to form a relationship between them. H is the adjacent, and this is the ops. So it's gonna be tan. Tan of 30 degrees is the opposite R, divided by the adjacent H. So R, we times through by H, is H lots of tan 30, which is root three over three. And then we're gonna plug that in here. So the volume then is a third pi. Now we're gonna square all of this. So we're going to get h squared, and when you square this, you can think of this as 1 over root 3 as well. We'll give you a third. You can use your calculator if you want. And then we have that h at the end. And when we simplify that, we get the answer. 1 ninth pi h cubed. Even part a to something like this is done very badly by students, but it's a very common question. Yeah, so guys, save this video yeah, as part of your related rates of change revision. So given that the time t seconds, or given at time t seconds, the volume is equal to this. So we have a relationship between the volume and the time in which water is being poured into the cone. Find the depth of water after five minutes. Okay, so they want you to find the depth of water, which is h. So let's write this down. They want us to find h. This gives us more direction. Find h when t is what? Five minutes. We have to be careful because they want seconds. So it's another thing that students make mistakes with. They don't compare and examiners, they love to do this. They just want to test how meticulous you are. So five minutes means T is 300 seconds, okay? Now the only thing we have is we have volume in terms of time. So it looks like if time is 300, we can work out the volume, okay? And then we'll figure it out. So what's the volume here? We're going to get 700 e to the minus 0 0.001 times 300, which is approximately, where's my calculator? Always come with a calculator in my pocket. e to the minus 0 0.001, 300. Get 518, 518. 0.57 dot dot dot. Okay, now we need to keep that answer. I'm going to store it just in case. Yeah, so I just double check 700e to the minus 0 0.001 times 300, 0, 0, 001 300. Because, yeah, with so many zeros over there, it's very easy to put too many zeros or too little zeros. When I did my blindfolded GCSE paper, um, I wrote too many zeros, but I was blindfolded when it came to that 0 0.002. I'll never forget. Anyway, I'm talking to myself. So with this, how can we work out H? Well, we have a relationship between the volume and H, so we're just gonna sub that in. So we have that 518.57 dot 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 is one ninth pi H cubed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna times through by nine. Then I'm gonna divide through by pi. 
and then I'm going to cube root the answer. So I'm doing, um, what am I doing? I stored it as A, didn't I? Just in case I did. So I'm doing cube root of 9 times A all over pi. 11.4. So I get H is approximately 11.4. Uh, what is it? Centimeters. Okay, what about part C? Well, I just need to double check my answer there. 9a over pi. I always get paranoid. Yeah, no problem. Find the rate at which the depth is decreasing after 5 minutes. Find rate. Rate means gradient. Gradient means d by d. So they want us to find d by d when... What was it? After five minutes, when t is 300 again. Well, we actually have the 11.4. Maybe that could be useful. Um, what do they want? Find the rate at which the depth, find the rate of change of depth after a certain amount of time. So find the rate, rate of change of h with respect to t. Okay. Now, this is a classic, what I call, want got need. My Wagwan formula. Okay, so what do they want is equal to what we've got times what do we need. Okay, now we want dh by dt. What have we got though? Well, we have a relationship between the volume and time, so we can easily get dv by dt. Well, what do we need to multiply dv by dt? Uh, what? What do we need to multiply dv by dt by to get dh dt? Well, we need a dh on the top, and we need to divide by dv. And we can get all of these things really easily, okay? So, um, dv by dt over here. dv by dt is 700 is just the multiplier, right? Multiply by... Now we're just differentiating this exponential. We differentiate the power first. So differentiating that power, the t just goes. So we're just going to get minus 0 0.001. Minus 0 0.001. 0 0.001. E differentiates to E. And then the power always stays the same. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do is we're going to have to differentiate. Well, we're going to have to figure out dh by dv. Well, that's going to come from this. It's going to come from differentiating that, right? So, I'm just going to rub out uh, the top here because we don't need that anymore. We might need more space in a bit, but for now, that's good enough. So, I can do dv by dh. One ninth pi, just a multiplier. So, one ninth pi multiplied by, we're just differentiating h cubed, bring down the 3 knock 1 off the power, 3 h squared. 3 cancels the 9, 1 third, need to sneeze. <coughs> uh, where am I? Okay, pi h squared. Okay. Now, we have to be careful, because that's dv dh, they want dh dv. dv by dt is all good. All right, so we're going to have to reciprocate. So therefore, dh by dt, dh by dt is 700 times all that was minus 0 0.001 times 700, minus 0 0.7. E to the minus 0 0.001t, then we're going to multiply that. Now, if we think of this as pi h squared over 3, we can just reciprocate that. Because that's dv dh, we want dh dv. So that becomes 3 over pi h squared. And then all we need to do is substitute our values. So we know t is 300, and we know h. Because we worked out previously, h after 5 minutes is 11.4. So this is the 
cool thing about this question, things link together. And that's why they strategically put both of them to be five minutes because then we know all of the values at those points, okay? So really all I need to do is make the substitution in my calculator and then we're all good. And I always recommend that you guys type this in your calculator as well because then you can double check that you actually know how to use your calculator. And I need to do the same, 0 0.001 times 300 times, it looks so weird, 3 over pi bracket 11.4 squared. I get a very tiny number, okay? So I'm going to get dh by dt is approximately minus 3.81 times 10 to the minus 3 because they only wanted three significant figures. So minus 3.81 times 10 to the minus three. What would the units be? The rate of change of h, h is in centimeters, and time is seconds. So you don't need to say this if you don't want to, but it's centimeters per second. And that's your answer. So this is a really nice question. It's a very important question, guys. It uh, kind of brings in a lot of skills into one. So make sure you save this. But guys, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button. If you learned something today, Subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my A-level maths courses, then more details are in the description. And if you want to join the community and submit your own questions, then link to the Lung Gang Reddit page is down below as well. I'll see you in the next video. Nice.